feels much more uh, together and elastic, right? It's like a good. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can only imagine. No, I can. Okay, now, next step, you take your dough. It's got to rest 30 minutes. Um, up to two hours is fine, but you got to keep it covered. Uh, otherwise, it will dry out and get a little scab on there. So it's important to keep it covered the whole time. Then uh, take a uh, dough cutter and just press down on it. Cut it in quarters. And then you're gonna work with one quarter at a time. Uh, if you're not doing this, keep it covered. If you're not uh, using these three, keep them covered, okay? So you're gonna do this, uh, for tortellini, you're doing this on prep day. Everybody else, you're doing this on event day morning. So we have eight of these. We'll have four set up here, and if you wanna do it at your table, it would not be a bad idea for someone to come in first thing, knock your dough out. Get it rolled out, cut, done. That's somebody comes in, that's all they're focused on. Okay. First part is rolling it out, the second part is cutting it. So you want to roll everything out, take your dough rectangle here and use the knife edge of your hand and flatten it to about a quarter inch. What portion of the dough did you use? One fourth. A quarter, yeah. Cutting in exact quarters. So why wouldn't we use like a rolling pin? You can, I mean. Because this is going to be our roller, um, and sometimes it's harder to with a rolling pin versus pressing down on your hand. And all you're trying to do at this point is get it to about a quarter inch. Okay, so that's good enough as far as rectangle goes. Okay, so that's phase one. Get it to this. Then once you're here, you're going to go through the rollers. Here, there's two rollers that go together. When you crank it, they're both very smooth. What you don't want to do is get it stuck in the corner. Try and keep it in the middle as much as possible. Put the handle in, and then the first time you go through is the most stressful for the dough. So go nice and slow. It's kind of like your freshman year in college. It's like, just go slow. So that's, now you're, now you're a sophomore. So you get through there, and where are my unicorn tears? That's close, thank you. Ah, I see you like them, huh? Yeah, they're good, huh? Okay, so you go through once, just go nice and slow, then you can go through again. Now you're a sophomore, you can go through a little faster. Now you want to stop, and you're going to spray some unicorn tears just on the dough. Don't spray the machine, just on your dough. And then you're going to connect the dough to make a pasta fan belt. Because I don't like I don't like having to feed it through every time I'm kind of lazy. So connect it, and then you don't have to keep feeding it through over and over again. Boring. So then you go through a slow again, back to the little freshman bump right there. Whoa. Okay, now you're good. so now you're good to go. And you only need to go through here once. Okay, I, I've seen like somebody come up here and they'll do this on event day morning, and they'll be like this. And then all of a sudden, they'll be like, they'll hear me scream, your guests will be here in 10 minutes. And they're like, huh? <laughs> it's hypnotizing. Okay, don't get drawn into the hypnotizing factor. Okay, get through here pretty quickly. So I'm on zero. Now I go to one, right? I'm bringing the rollers closer together. And you can see it's getting finer and finer and finer and thinner and thinner and thinner. You need to go through once, maybe twice, then go on to the next one. You can actually see, you can actually see where it uh, separates. What's that? How many gears are there? Thousands. No, we're, you're going to go to number six. And that's just bringing the two barrels close together. Yeah, it's just bringing the rollers together. I'll show you what it looks like. It it's it's easier. It doesn't matter what type of box that we have. We use the same settings and all that. Yeah, okay. except tortellini. You're not going to go through there. Right. So you see the difference? Mm -hmm. That's two. That's three. Okay, so you can see where you're going. Okay, then, then you can just stop right there and go on to the next one. Don't waste time. Time is not your friend. Jeff, did you say Portland 
Tor T Torlini. Uh, no, actually, you will do it. <coughs> you will. I lied. Is it pointing on your left hand at all, or are you shaking it on purpose? I'm, I'm actually just throwing it over. Yeah. Because otherwise it'll do this and stretch. So you got to kind of keep feeding it. And now I'm on five. And you want to watch. You want to make sure you're not going over. You can lead it one way or the other way. So I'll keep it in the center. And I usually, when it gets thin like that, I give it more slack. And then when it gets really wide, I kind of pull on it a little bit. Just stretch it out. You can see there's the split again. Now I'm going on six. So everyone's going to six. Even tortellini. So here it's getting thinner, so I'll give it a little bit of slack. And if it rips? Mm -hmm. uh, you can fix it. See, there's the split again. You just kind of cut, cut, paste. <coughs> kind of like your papers, right? Cut, paste, put in there. <laughs> Whoa, did I say that? <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's... <laughs> I just want to try and see if I can get in Pauline's yeah. space. Okay, so there you go. And then you can take a little paring knife. Don't press too hard, but you can just cut here and it'll drop. And then drop it. It's so good. And then throw it out. Smack Pauline. Whoosh. <laughs> and then here. And then you can then you cut it into um, pasta length strips. So what is that? That? Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. 12 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, whatever. Okay, you just go by, boom, 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 fast, 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 boom, boom, and then boom. <coughs> okay, then it's important to keep this under um, plastic, and I have a little bit of damp towel in there uh, to help keep it dr uh, moist, because you do not want it to be uh, drying out at this point, because if you put it through the cutter and it's dry, um, it does not look sexy. Okay, so you want to get these under plastic fast. And you can put parchment paper on top of here. You want to try not to overlap as much as possible. And then pull back. Keep it covered. Do work quickly. Hmm? Do that one That's while out. you're working on one of the strips. Um, now I'm going to work on one. Yeah, so while you're working on them, keep it covered. And then I'm going to work on this one. So now I'm going to show you how to cut. So this is the roller, and then they have cutters. Okay, Fettuccini. Spaghetti. Reganetti. How do you know that one's Reganetti? It says it right on there. Okay. Fettuccini, spaghetti, Reganetti. I'll show tortellini in a minute. So you just put that right up here, transfer your bar over, feed it, feed it in. Just lay it right on top. Is that the fettuccini? Fettuccini. Then? Oh. And then you go in the back here, grab it, oh. and then you put it on your pasta tree. Okay. What you can do also from here is divide this into three orders, three pieces, right? And then you got, then you're good to go. You have three orders already out measured for your guests. Okay. And that, I would do that ahead of service, so you don't have to think about it. We cook it for them, though, before they arrive to the table? Oh, a la minute. minute. Yeah, we did have a, t a group once cook all their pasta beforehand. Oh. And it doesn't, it's not, uh, you have to do it to order. It takes, this will take about three, four minutes to cook. Maybe, maybe that long, maybe not that long. It's fast, it's fresh pasta. So that group who did that, they basically, for their event, they made dough. And they, yeah. So like a guest will come up and you'll just take that Yeah, maybe three people come up, you drop three orders, you make three orders, sexy, tight. Okay. Next one. Okay. Okay, so you'll have this at your table, everybody but tortellini. That's three, three orders right there. That's right? one, two, three orders. Okay. okay. Tortellini. A couple ways to make tortellini. I'll make a pretty big one. 
So the first thing you're gonna do is make a square. Okay. Then this is gonna be a big tort. This will be more like a tortelloni. Um, this is really what it's called. Do you guys know about that? Raviolini, ravioli, raviolo. That's, that's what they do. Um, and then I'm going to put this line on here. This is just to, for your, you don't need to do that. Just imagine the line going across. And we'll do a pasta stuff pasta. So this will be our filling. <laughs> so this will be your filling. Most people here, they put too much filling in. So less is more. Uh, then you can't seal it properly, and then you put it in the water, everything, it's not good. So less is more. Put the, put the filling just above the line towards one of the tips, 